I'm Matt. I'm a number line racer. In this tutorial, I'll help you learn about number lines. Let's get started. A number line is a straight line with numbers evenly spaced along the line. Using a number line, you can tell if a number is larger or smaller than another number and understand what the difference is between two numbers. The number line, which we use today, was created by the English mathematician John Wallace, who lived between 1616 and 1703. Let's take a close look at a number line. In the middle of the number line is zero. It is represented by a point we call the origin. The points to the left of the origin are negative numbers, and the points to the right of the origin are positive numbers. The space, or distance, between each number is called a unit. The arrows at both ends of the number line mean that the line continues forever in both directions. Before we continue, let's talk about negative numbers. A negative number is a number which is less than zero. When I'm in a race, I start at the zero location on the number line and race down the track to the green finish lines. If I give other racers a head start, then I would have to start further behind the start line. Let's stay at negative two on the number line. This means that my competition has a head start of two, and I'm going to have to go really fast if I want to win the race. Racers who start at the zero location have a zero advantage, or no advantage. It's a fair race. However, if I start behind the other racers, then this means that I'm further away from the finish line than the other racers. This is because negative numbers are always less than zero. The number line is useful because it helps us to see how positive and negative numbers are added and subtracted. You may have already learned in school that you can add positive and negative numbers and you can subtract positive and negative numbers. There are rules for each, so let's begin with addition. Find negative 3 on the number line and move from left to right. So we count the number of hops to the right and end up at 0. So negative 3 plus positive 3 equals 0. Find negative 3 on the number line and move to the left. A useful tip is if the sign of the second number is negative, then we move to the left. If it were positive, we would move to the right. Positive 3 plus positive 2 equals positive 5. We move from positive 3 on the number line to the right by adding 2. Remember, we move to the right because the sign of the second number is positive. Find positive 3 on the number line. We move from positive 3 to the left, counting two positions. And our answer is 1. And that's how we add positive and negative numbers. In the next section, we'll try subtracting positive and negative numbers. To make subtracting positive and negative numbers easier to understand, we convert subtraction operations to addition. We do this by changing the operation sign and the sign of the second number. Don't worry. It's really easy to do. Let's try a few examples. First, we convert the sign of the operation to its opposite. So subtraction becomes addition. Next, we change the sign of the second number. It's negative now, so we'll change it to positive. Now we have negative 3 plus positive 3. We find negative 3 on the number line and move to the right to end up on 0. Here's another. Okay. First we flip the sign, from negative to positive. Next we flip the sign of the second number. Now we have negative 3 plus negative 2. Find negative 3 on the number line. Remember our earlier rule. Because the sign of the second number is negative, we'll be moving to the left. We end up on negative 5 on the number line. Let's try two more examples to get the hang of subtracting negative and positive numbers. Again, we change the sign of the operation. This time from subtraction to addition. And we change the sign of the second number. From negative to positive. We now have positive 3 plus positive 1. Now we just follow the simple rules for addition. 3 plus 1 is 4. Hush, Max. We're almost done. Okay, here's the last one. Convert the sign of the operation and convert the sign of the second number. We get positive 3 plus negative 2. 
the sign of the second number tells us we're moving to the left. So we hop two spaces to the left, go positive 3, and end up at 1. I hope you enjoyed the video. So long and thanks for watching.